the text in this plunge schedule overflows a little in a column. There's a quick and easy way to fix that. If we pick the botanical name for the lily pilly and pick it, see how it just extends over the edge of the column. It's quite easy just to change the width factor. Let's make it 0.8 and see if that drags it in and we'll unselect all and clearly the text comes in very nicely. So we can work down through a column and then just adjust. I'd look at Prostanthera rotundifolia. I'm in the habit of following the botanical convention where we use lowercase for the species name. And I'd also bring that back to say 0.9 and that brings that piece of text into the column and we have to do a little bit of fiddling here. So it's quite a good idea to save a plan schedule of this type which is divided up not in the standard GK plus way but save a copy and then you can just edit and replace those names uh, that, that don't fit as we're doing here. I noticed Dodonia viscosa here subspecies spatulata and that's done as two separate pieces of text. Again I would be inclined to just clear that and use M text where you have a crowded space such as that because M text gives you quite good control over how the text appears and, the, and its correct name is spatulata rather than spatulata. So we've been quite careful here to line things up nicely. And speaking of lining things up, see how our left hand justification varies quite a lot. So do use modify and align text. The prompt says pick the text to align. We'll pick all these pieces of text and then just hit the enter key and we'll say left align and line everything up like so. Now all that text lines up. Just makes things look a little neater. So you can manipulate text within plant schedules relatively easily. GK Plus generates plant schedules as a block and you can go in and edit the block in the way that we've demonstrated here. I've inserted an image of uh, Dodonia viscosa subspecies spatulata and it's identified by Murray Fagg of the Australian Tenant Gardens so we will trust his nomenclature over what we had before.